Welcome here to Cusick Park in Innes for this round one uh, group game between Clooney Quinn and Wolf Tones. A Clooney Quinn team that I suppose have been waiting on this game to come up since their Clare Cup final defeat only a couple of weeks ago to Collins Mills against the Wolf Tones side who impressed up to the quarter final stages last year um, but maybe would be disappointed with their show and so we'll be hoping to start the year off on a good foot and I'm joined here in commentary by Owen Brennan and Owen just before we go through the teams I suppose just looking at uh, both sides run into it uh, Clooney Quinn they're a young I suppose they would have been a very inexperienced team last year a lot of them saw their first bit of action they would have been I suppose satisfied with the run they had but they'll definitely get into a Clare Cup final and they'll be looking to push on uh, for this year's championship yeah look interesting to see how, how far they develop they were huge number like six or seven on the clear under 20 panel this year you know so that's a, a massive core for any any club in particular then they had the experience of the Shane McNamara was unfortunately away this weekend but the Peter Duggan and Ryan Taylor so Ryan Taylor's injury is a huge loss to what would have been their plans to have him as one of their central players but still have a lot of young talent how far they develop that's the big question that we're going to learn not just today but over the next three games because we all know these are the, the, the group of derbies I think it'll go anyway uh, as last night will prove that it doesn't always go according to form so I think it's very very interesting to see from Clooney Quinn's perspective excellent to get to the Clare Cup final excellent to get a quarter final last year how far can they push on this year and we'll just have a quick look through both sides Wolf Tones are lining out as they are on our programme so in goals is Conor Carrig Sam Meany Rory Hayes and Liam Murphy is their full back line Daryl Lohan Dahi Lohan and Sean Costello the half back line Dean Devaney and Stephen Donlan in midfield Keen O'Rourke Aaron Shanahar and John Gilfile is our half forward line and inside of Aaron Cunningham Evan O'Garman and Billy Connors Clooney Quinn show one change from the match programme and uh, they line out with Cahill Hannan in goals they've got Conor Grogan wearing number seven will be Mike McNamara instead of Shane Evan Maxed in the other corner half back line is Derek Yo, John Keneally and John Cahill Jimmy Corrie and Donald Sullivan are the midfield Owen O'Brien Peter Duggan and Jack O'Neill in a half forward line and then Dan Fox Colin Hassett and Shane Harrison make up their full forward line and um, I suppose you spoke maybe about the, the derbies and we obviously had the first game in this group last night uh, Newmarket and I suppose they won it by nine points which in a, in a derby be kind of a group like this where everybody will be looking to beat everybody scoring difference could be vital in the end and those nine points could be very valuable absolutely and it could have been a lot more you know Crackler did have a bit of a late flourish I think they got five of the last six points something like that just to just to close the margin but it was very emphatic win by Newmarket and Fergus you know they did everything right you know, but I suppose this is all about the, the, it just shows the, the senior championship in Clare in particular in that you know all teams think they're ready for it but you know until you go out in the field that you realise how ready you are Newmarket were ready they were up for it and Crackler were way off the mark and it's, it's unusual for Crackler because because they're due thing they're normally nearly ahead of the game in order to try and get ahead in the championship but they were way off the mark last night look it might be just an off day for them maybe there's something more to it but in, on the first day's evidence a Newmarket way ahead of the pack and look we've seen it's Cusy Park all over we've seen two massive results here against the odds uh, Crackley the set of all the experience even though Newmarket themselves got to a semi-final two years ago it was still a bit of an upset to, for that mark to beat Cracklaw and then the previous week we've had Kilmaley and Bellia they've been only two games in, in uh, Kizik Park so who knows what today is going to bring yeah and I suppose just looking over the, the results of the past 24 hours or so as you say the market 3-15-15 over Cracklaw Bellia reignited their championship there down in Shannon earlier on 115 to 14 uh, the bridge got off to a winning start against Crosheen 121 to 20 Kilmaley second win on the bounce 24 to 211 and then Fecal upset Nero 213 to 211 Half time below on the bridge at the moment. It was Clonara 1 6. The mill, or sorry, Clonara 1 9. The mills 1 6, but a strong breeze to come for the mills. So I suppose looking maybe at the fecal result in America, it does show if you're not ready on the first round, you can pay the price. Yeah, and, and it showed the last year as well. Iroga are probably a bit slow starters because they've had so many players missing. It's tough to kind of blend that back in together. And it showed last year they're beat by Kilmaley, but it didn't stop them coming out of the group. It was a big win for fecal and everyone available to them. Iroga might have had a few. Uh, coming back in that hadn't been playing or, and was missing for a while so I think it was a massive result for Fecal obviously because they haven't got out of the group the last couple of years but for a rogue I don't think it's detrimental and there's just a, a minute silence here in Cusick Park so we'll just pause and observe that silence
That minute silence was uh, made for Thomas Malone Smith, a Shannon Gales player who uh, unfortunately uh, passed away yesterday. So we extend our sympathies to his family and uh, the Shannon Gales club and all his neighbours and friends. We pause now for the playing of our on the Uh, the team's brilliant from the office. Uh, it looks like it's going to be Bruce Lawrence who will defend the Tyrone goals here in Cusick Park with uh, the Clooney Quinn defence taken up their, uh, sits their, their defence back here at the alley side. So we'll watch and see maybe um, no unexpected really positional changes either as we look at it here at the moment, Owen. Uh, but a match-up straight away. Dahi Lohan gone over to take on Peter Duggan. Yeah, I suppose John Keneally and Aaron Shannon will also be a, a match-up of, of the senior uh, panellists as well. So very intriguing one, but Wolf Tones have a strong breeze. Straight away, it's Stephen Donlan in possession for Wolf Tones, playing in their white jerseys to make sure there's an avoid a clash of the, the two sets of green but it's back in the hands of Duggan Peter now lays it in high in top of the square ball dropping here in inside it's going to be Shane Harrison trying to get to the ball first he's ahead of Sam Meany at the moment recycling it back as far as Colm Hassett Colm's attempted shot is just hooked there as he tried to get it and it's going to be Rory Hayes who brings it out for Wolf Tones down the wing it goes towards John Gilfile the giant captain here of the Wolf Tones side and he's going to take their first shot at this year's championship we watch for the umpires but it's gone to the left and it's gone wide a disappointing effort really considering he made his face to, to, to you know and he's got a strong breeze behind him you know all alone there should be putting that over the bar but look it's the early stages of this we won't get too bogged down it I mean we're only a minute into it but already we're seeing that uh, Clooney Quinn are, you know they've got Peter Duggan is going to be their central character here he's at centre forward and there's nearly two around him all the time yeah ball dropping straight down on top of him Dahi Lohan was behind trying to break it it does hit the ground now Lohan trying to get over it he gets forward has that ball on the hurley as he gets inside the 65 at the Clooney Quinn side of it and down over it now Clooney trying to get the numbers around Duggan nips in gets it as far as Keneally John Keneally now breaking out from centre back over as far as Peter Peter has a stand and strike on his own 65 and Peter it does what we've seen him do so many times before little bit of time there Owen and he made no mistake yeah if one player's going to defy the strength of the breeze anyway it's Peter Duggan he's on 65 it was a tremendous score and a really great boost for, for what is he a young uh, Clooney Quinn side that wanted to settle into this game against the breeze Daryl Ohan now carrying it forward he delivers that ball across field in inside of Evan O'Gorman Evan comes out he just can't get it into the hands it drops down for John Cahill John flicks that ball out in front of him Derek Hill waiting for it here on his own 45 there's a bit of movement ahead of him and it's going to be Dan Fox came out to show it, tries to play it back there into Dunna O'Sullivan but Dunna can't get the ball into his hands there's going to be a bit of a melee here in the middle just trying to get that ball into a bit of space Clooney Quinn look to be the ones in control they come out with the ball but it's turned over again by Wolf Tones forward this time now is Dahi Lohan and Dahi gets the strike off this one is on target another one for distance and uh, it's one all between Duggan and Lohan <laughs> yeah absolutely if they're going to mark each other they're going to mark each other hoping point for fight as well it's going to be a fascinating battle between them but uh, you know it was a great score and a, and a really inspirational one for Wolf Tones Ball now dropping down here out for it was Owen O'Brien but Owen isn't going to be able to keep that one in play instead Kevin Curry puts up the white flag he shows that it's going to be a line ball here for Wolf Tones and Dara Lohan is the man that's going to come over to hit it so Dara walking up to his spot looked around to see if there was a bit of movement a bit of smart play there by Stephen Dunham but he's been picked up all the way by Dunham Sullivan just walked off the field and back on behind it but uh, I suppose 
suppose that's the quick thinking you want, but uh, alert to it all the time was done all. Yeah, he was. Unless he can John get five, uh, do something. Uh, that's a good pass inside for Billy Connors. Billy now has the opportunity to take on his first shot, but this one has gone to the right. It's gone wide. Advantage was being played, but uh, referee Fergal O'Brien said advantage was over by the time the shot came in. So it's going to be a puck out here for Cahill Hennon. He's looking for a bit of movement. Peter puts up the hurley. He wants it down here in front of him, but it's going to be Owen O'Brien instead that puts up the paw. Down it comes. Peter comes to the break. Lohan gets the hurley and just gets a flick and it does Daryl Lohan out over the sideline it goes. It's going to be a Clooney Quinn line ball and it's Peter that looks like he's going to take control of it. Yeah, and absolutely. And Peter, we, as we all know, has the ability to put this over as well. But I'll definitely at least put it into the mix. Uh, you know, get it in there towards the square. Maybe Callum Hass had been the, the target man inside there. Fox is also uh, sneaking about there as well. So they've got a lot of danger if they can just put it in there. Peter looking for a bit of movement. He was thinking about going backwards with it. And Not backwards in, with Peter Duggan. No, instead he does cut it. It has the distance, but the wind is just drawn it all the time out to the right. Out it goes. It's the first wide of the afternoon for uh, Clooney Quinn. And the score just remains one point apiece. As we look at it, just over four minutes on the clock. Puck out, gets us back underway, straight away. Down it comes on top of uh, John Gilfile. John can win it. Instead, it's Clooney Quinn who go on the attack forward there towards Don O'Sullivan. But uh, the referee for O'Brien deems that it was a throw more than a hand pass. And it's going to be a free out. Peter Duggan was looking for the ball, but he's just realised there, Owen, that the free's uh, gone the other way. Yeah, it's in for a throw. Peter's a bit bemused by it, but he obviously didn't see it himself. I think another interesting factor in this game, actually, is about the, the two inexperienced goalkeepers as well. We've got a, an outfield player in Connor Carey has gone in Pat Freeman's after switching clubs and uh, Keith Hogan is away for the year so Carl Hannon getting his go so big occasion for those two guys as well um, you know that's interesting to see what they can do just not just in shots anymore it's all about distribution these days as well uh, but we'll, we'll uh, just pause for that free I suppose Keno Rourke is it? Keno Rourke on his own 65 more or less straight in front of the post as he gets the strike it has plenty of distance plenty of more to carry if needed but it's in it's over the bar and Wolf Tones hit the front for the first time in the game just over five minutes gone here on the clock and we're back underway straight away Evan Mexton playing it in towards the centre coming for it was Peter but it breaks in behind there's a race for possession here the jersey's been put of Dean Devaney as he was trying to go back the guilty party Jack O'Neill in this case and we'll see Keane O'Rourke come back and judging by his last free you would expect he'll have the distance again here on yeah definitely um, you know a player that's really kind of uh to show that he was in the underdog last year and I kind of give him a new lease of life he's living up in, up in Dublin um, but really got it got going it kind of inspired him again to get going now and he's I'm, I'm expecting a big championship out of Keane and um, just to see he's going to, he's only a small bit further but he's more central for this one so you'd imagine that like a good dark spare you have the range from the first one so that he'd be a tower and over there goes the strike it's dropping a little bit short has it got the legs and hasn't it breaks down Billy Connors tries to get the flick and it but it goes back in inside to Cahill Hennon Cahill recycles it to John Cahill now John has an opportunity carry it towards the 13 down the line he's looking there straight away it's gone out over Jimmy Curry's head Jimmy can't keep it in play Wolf Tones get possession back and Aaron Cunningham stands over it looking for a bit of movement movement isn't coming so he's going to leave it and Daryl Lohan is going to make his way up the field and uh, he's going to take this one but uh, interesting both Keepers are trying to get the ball back in play as fast as possible. Yeah, just on that one, just the last one there, because I thought Billy Connors had a great uh, chance of a goal there, but he kind of just flicked it rather than uh, really maybe cutting loose or, or pulling on the break. And uh, I think it's a missed opportunity because that ball was there to, to be hit. Daryl Lohan cutting this one in. This one has the distance. You said that Duggan could do it. You never told us the Lohan could as well. And from 60 metres out, he looks at the sideline to tell him, what do you think of that, lads? He's also now ahead on the, the scoring duel between himself and Peter. What a score that was. Oh, unbelievable score. Ball as far as Mike back there. Mike now playing it down the wing. Out coming, looking for Dean Devaney, trying to get back there. De- or, he can't get down over it instead. It looks like it's going to be the Callahan or the Shane Harris and Shane on the way in. He's looking for the runner. The runner is Jack O'Neill. Jack has time to look. He makes no mistake from that angle. In it goes over the bar. Quick reply to the sideline cut, and we're back three points to two. Yeah, Jack O'Neill is probably outside of Peter Duggan their most lethal player. You know, really stepped up from the minor last year, under 20 this year for Clare, and he's destined for the county seniors as well and I think it's because it's going to be a big championship I know it's his first uh, for at that level but it's, it's going to be a big championship for Jack O'Neill
And it's going to be Daryl Owen who uh, is going to take responsibility of this one. This time he's back on his own 45. <laughs> so, uh, but at the same time, strong breeze. <laughs> strong breeze. Aaron Chanahur is positioning himself just offside the 21. So you'll be thinking he's one and one there at the moment with John Keneally. But we'll wait and see. Is that where the ball is going? It is straight in front of him. It's coming. He comes out, gets the touch into his hand. He's now 60 yards out. Plays it back in the hurley, looking for a bit of support. Plays it backwards again. On they come through Dahi Lohan. Dahi has won from play already can he add to that one this time he hits the post inside way and three active McGorman wasn't fast enough Connor Grogan cleans it up for Clooney Quinn and out we come towards Connor Maxted Connor now on the 21 he's going to carry it messages from below has let him have it just make sure that we're tied at the back as they work it back to Maxted Maxted again over as far as Owen O'Brien Owen loses possession this time as Stephen Donnan who nips in being chased there by Maxted this one is overplayed Callum Hassan's going to show for it Callum ball in hand looking for the runners back it goes as far as Anil Lohan comes in with the hope but again as far as Peter Peter's on the way in towards the 13 trying to get the strike off he does a goal for Peter Duggan and uh, I suppose that just shows well, Tones turned over in their, or sorry, Clooney Quinn turned over in their, their own, in their own half. Clooney broke fast, got the ball as far as Peter, and from 13 yards out, Conor Carrigan had no chance. Yeah, an expert finish, you know, because he had no real backlift to it, and the power he was able to generate from the shot, you know, it was an unstoppable one, really, you know. Um, Jack O'Neill did a lot of good work there, offloaded the ball, very, very clever, and who better than Peter Duggan? Now, Will Tones, you'd be suspect, how does Peter Duggan get in there unmarked, um, you know, to get the overlap? Jack O'Neill now has it again here he goes crossfield ball he's looking inside there for Shane Harrison Shane shows for it but it breaks back as far as Rory Hayes Rory is time to steady himself and look down the field he's going long and high down on Aaron Cunningham but it's Aaron gets the hurley to it Maxted however gets a flick to it breaks it as far as Dunno Sullivan Dunno now out as far as Jimmy Curry Jimmy down the wing he goes he's trying to get it inside in front of Dannon Fox Dannon hoping to keep the ball in play he does just about that and Liam Murphy picks it oh Dannon has dispossessed him goal opportunity coming here again if they can over it goes and in nips Rory Hayes just a vital touch at the right time but uh, I suppose a little bit more clinical and another goal chance was open yeah I think well, Tone's very lucky that they've got an inter-county player in every line you know that they had that bit of experience and Rory Hayes is vital there because the goal was on uh, you know Derek uh, you have to be very careful with the likes of Daniel Fox he's so, so dangerous so lively able to dispossess there and almost in for a second goal which would have been a big big blow for Wolf Tones with such a big lead or big win Daryl Ohan as far as Aaron Cunningham Aaron on the turn just drifts it straight down in on top of the box it goes but the ball is going to break behind Kyle Hennon Kyle has time to steady himself look out the wing for Dara Kyo Dara picking it up he thought about coming into the centre but instead he's going to go long down that wing again in it goes it's into the hands straight away of the, the corner forward and that's Shane Harrison and Shane has the opportunity just about has the legs to get over the bar in it goes it's another score for uh, Clooney Quinn and it's 1-3 to 3 now yeah amazing how things turn around so quickly you know 3 points to one up you're thinking after that uh, Daryl Owen nine ball you're thinking well, what a start it was for Wolf Tones and suddenly they find themselves three down all of a sudden uh, it's a great sign for obviously the neutrals but not good for Wolf Tones who as I mentioned already have a very very strong breeze in their back and seem to be bringing players back when it's unnecessary but they're just trying to get their players on the ball I suppose Aaron Shanahan brought the ball down but waiting there for it was Jack O'Neill Jack now has time he steadies himself off the hurley puts it in he was hoping to get it as far as Dan and Fox it didn't quite have the legs however and Hayes picks it up at full back he's charging out with the ball and uh, free out there on his own 45 for Rory and opportunity now for them maybe to get a bit of shape up here in the forwards and get an attack on the way yeah they just need to settle things down like Rory wanted to take that free uh, quickly but uh, it's it just better for uh, Will Tones to try and get their shape yeah. a small bit because they're, they were bringing back the likes of Aaron Cunningham you know you want uh, the likes of Aaron Cunningham very very close to goal Billy Connors is up there uh, Shanahan probably could be doing closer to goal you know he's not as dangerous as he uh, at centre forward that's a dangerous one enough dangerous enough and Kyle Hannon just bats it out uh, but it's a job done as Mike McNamara picks it up gets it here as far as Owen O'Brien and Owen in towards the centre if Max was coming out looking for it can't get it into his hand he's robbed there by O'Rourke Keane recycling it back as far as Dean Devaney here he comes opportunity for Dean short grip of the stick gets the strike in it goes this one however just tails to the right and wide a third wide for Wolf Tones uh, but opportunity there for Dean Devaney yeah it was a little unfortunate it kind of it looked to be good at the start and then just kind of drifted wide a little I wouldn't be too worried about that one as such I just think that Wolf Tones now really need to work on their shape a little and, and let's not panic you know because 
it's when things start to go against you, when you have a strong breeze, it's, it's easy to lose your shape and stuff. I think they just need a bit of composure. Their leaders, like Sir Rory Hayes, your two Lohans, Aaron Shannon and Aaron Connolly, we need those guys to stand up and uh, uh, for a little bit of inspiration. And it's a free in here for Peter Duggan and for Clooney and an opportunity for him to try and put four between us here as we head towards the 13 minute mark of this first half game. So we'll uh, wait and see Peter just judging the breeze as he takes his time. He's going to settle himself, walk in and uh, his first free of the afternoon here for Peter in it goes he's 1-1 one, one on the board already that one is in and through it's a, they say his first pointed three 1-2 for the day for Peter Duggan it's 1-4 for Clooney Quinn and uh, well Tones really can't let this I suppose this score get away from him because with the breeze to come you'd expect Clooney to be able to with the likes of Duggan to be able to score from distance in the second half yeah well Tones just need to settle down a small bit you know they uh, had a few minutes there where they were kind of under the, just went out of the game for whatever a reason they just need to get back into the game and no better than this man here who's having a, a superb start to the game anyway Dottie Dottie Lohan. Lohan. third shot of the day for Dotty Lohan it's two from three in terms of his accuracy he received that ball there from Dara forward he went he just drove forward and uh, over the bar so quick puck out again Kyle Hannon looking here for Mike McNamara into Mike's hand it goes now it's going in towards the corner or even as much space as possible for that full forward line to attack Harrison Shane is the man who comes shows win it, gets it as far as Column has it. Now Column gets his strike off, slightly off balance, but that makes no difference to Column as he puts it in over the bar. It's his first of the day, and a, a great response from a Clooney Quinn point of view to Lohan score there months ago. Definitely, and that's what Clooney Quinn need to do. You know, they have that goal advantage all the time. They all they need to do is keep that scoreboard ticking over so that when Wood Jones uh, make a uh, put a dent into it they can reply straight away and no better than Callum has it one of the aforementioned here in the 20s this year and that bit of pressure just applied by three different Wolf Tones players forces Owen O'Brien to hold onto the ball that little bit too long it's going to be a free in here for Keane O'Rourke and an opportunity for him to eat into the, the Clooney Quinn lead but that, that is the sort of determination and work rate that Wolf Tones need every time a Clooney Quinn player is on the ball yeah when you're down just by that goal and all that you, you just need small wins to start you off and, and get you going again now Keane O'Rourke should be able to, to pot this one over 60 metres and you know suddenly then you're, you're eating into the lead again and um, it's it's just for what Thomas now is to, is to really settle down because uh, I just think they need a bit more pattern to their play. Here goes the strike from Keane, in it goes. They could hear his fellow players giving him the congratulations before it ever went through the black spot, but that's exactly where they went. It's a second pointed free for Keane, and uh, it's now 1 5 to 5 points as Kyle Hannon delivers his latest puck out down the far side, looking for Owen O'Brien. Does he manage to keep it in? He does, but he can't get it into his hand. Back it goes. Dara Kyo gets down over it. He has the ball. A high tackle in there on Dara as he was trying to break free, and Fergal. O'Brien, the man in the middle, decides there's no advantage of Croom. We'll go on with the free, which uh, it looks like Dara is going to take responsibility here himself. Delivers at crossfield, looking for Dan and Fox. He gets the hurley taught, breaks it down into his own hand. And uh, Aaron Shanahan was coming like a train. <laughs> advantage being played. Callum Hassan took on the shot. It doesn't really matter. Drop short that time, but we're going to come back for the challenge of uh, Aaron Shanahan on Dan and Fox. And it's going to be a free in for Clooney and an opportunity there. But I suppose we spoke about the work rate of over carrying here just a little bit rash in terms of the tackle there by Shanner yeah I, I think it was more clumsy than that he was obviously going to do it. maybe he didn't realise how uh, less of a size that Aaron Shanner or, or that Dennis Fox was and he just got flowed into him um, you know it was a, a little more awkward but again good tones you know you don't need Aaron Shanner back in your own half back line you know you need him uh, going forward to goal like, it, there are workers that you can bring back but it, it's not the likes of Aaron Shanner that you should have back there and Peter Duggan makes no mistake with his latest opportunity in it goes it's over the bar score is out 1-6 to 5 short puck out this time as far as Sam Meany Sam didn't catch it in the second attempt he's under pressure loses the ball flashbacks of Cusick Park a couple of months ago <laughs> happening here at the moment on well, well, Tones trying to get it as far as low and Peter comes in but it's going to be Daryl Owen who just nips in to tidy it up but uh, I suppose a small bit uh, too long on the ball and all of a sudden they were under severe pressure yeah an important kind of a shoulder there by Daryl uh, Owen just to, to make that space because if Wolf Tones had conceded a score there would have been hugely inspirational for, for Clooney Quinn let's see can they turn it over here and get Cunningham the man in possession he's caught it three times I thought there for O'Brien is in agreement yeah he was a little bit slow maybe bloated but he did blow it in the end three catches by Aaron 
Byrne as he was trying to get the shot off. Evan Maxted's job is done for the moment, and it's going to be a free out now for Dunne. And, and Evan Maxted, another one of those clear in the 20s. I think he didn't give him a space there. You know, Aaron was under pressure all the time. He's a very, very good man marker, as is John Cal, who's been brought back. He's, he's wearing seven on his back, but he's marking Billy Connors. Those guys haven't got the space so far. Now, that's credit to Cooney Quinn because it's it's pretty much man on man back there. Ball goes in straight in front of Jack O'Neill. He gets his hand to it. He's taking on uh, Stephen Donlan over on the far side. He's got inside him, heading towards the 21. Short grip of the stick. In it goes. It's over the bar. And uh, Jack gets his second one of the afternoon. And really, that's the ball that Jack wants straight in front of him. Let him win it and let him take on his man on. Yeah, it looks like Stephen Donlan's trying to follow him all over the place even though Stephen Downs were nine and he's back he's following Jack O'Neill Jack is a very very tough player to mark so he's got a tough hour Stephen ahead of him and here goes Jimmy Corrie to the centre Jimmy still heading he just loses possession under the tackle there from uh, Dahi Lohan ball breaks down and a missed time pass there by Hayes comes as far as uh, John Keneally John Keneally found himself inside his own 45 Rory Hayes missed pass is punished by Keneally and he jogs back to centre back with his first score of this year's championship yeah that's three in a row now for Tony Quinn and suddenly you're talking about the, the well, Tony's not, not couldn't afford to let that gap go and now it's at six they have a strong breeze in their back now, it, now it's going to see what kind of metal that Wolf Tones have because uh, six points down with such a breeze is, is just criminal really ball dropping there in front of John Gilfile John has taken it on himself thinks about the destroy he gets it off we wait and see but this one the breeze looks like he kept it to the left it's a four wide of the evening here for Wolf Tones and uh, it's back underway nice and quick Mike McNamara low ball straight down here in front of Jack O'Neill Jack just overruns it it's low and going forward again he's thinking about the pass but instead he's going on him Himself. He's deemed to have overcarried on this occurrence. It's going to be a free against Dahi. And uh, it's, I suppose, these are the little things when you're behind and trying to force it to go against you one. Yeah, look, he just took a little bit too much out of it. He was going to take a shot and then, you know, another defender came across him, which is, again, good defending from, from Clooney Quinn. But in fairness to Dahi Lohan, he's been one of the only inspirational uh, players who will chance. He's at centre back. He's driving forward at every opportunity. He's had a couple of shots at the post. He's got two points to his name. So you couldn't fault him just for giving away that free. Dunna was putting it in on top of Peter but uh, Peter just uh, over ahead of him it's into the Wolf Tones and it's Keane O'Rourke now with an opportunity to set up their attack in it goes in front of Billy Connors Billy trying to get down over gets it up into his hand he's looking for runners takes his second catch as he tries to make that bit of space he's still trying to juggle around he does make the space but the ball isn't going to have the legs it goes into Kyle Hannon and uh, again it's just that pressure that we're talking about from the Clooney Quinn defence yeah very very sticky we saw John Cal uh, he was on uh, and Colin Cleary in the Clare Cup final as well he's their go-to man marker at all stages so Billy Connors won't have a lot to do it's really going to test Billy Connors mental to be able to find space against a player of that calibre and get a few scores which are vital for Wolf Tones Denon Fox with the latest opportunity he gets his first today at Denon uh, great play there for Derek Hill in the half back line put the ball in front of Denon Denon came out attacked it and uh, as we say made no mistake and that means that everybody inside in their full forward line have no scored yeah Look, it, we spoke about it before the game. Clooney Quinn have so many options. You know, it's just ready. It was. It, it wasn't about what the talent they have. It was just seeing are they physically ready for a senior championship. And so far, if the answer is yes. <laughs> The ball breaks now is from the Aaron Shannon. He just can't get it. John Keneally, however, nips in. He gathers it. Has Derek Hugh out in front of him. Darren now carrying it to the 65. Looks ahead. Delivered it. He's looking for Harrison, but out in front of it was Rory Hayes. Rory's dispossessed, however. It's going to be a free in. That work rate of Shane Harrison. He turned over Rory Hayes. Uh, drew the free. It's going to be another one, another opportunity for Peter Duggan. And again, it's a reflection. It's not just the defence that are working hard. It's their full forward line just as much. Yeah, to be honest, like forget about the conditions. Clooney Quinn are winning the 50-50s. They're winning the, the, the duels between them, the players. You know, Aaron Shannon looked to be getting on the ball there. John Keneally nipped in. Uh, Rory Hayes seemed to be coming out with the ball. Shane Harrison nipped in and getting the scores. Small things, but uh, we're seeing it on the scoreboards. Uh, you know, one nine to five points is a big, big lead and it, with Peter Duggan's ability, obviously it, it could easily be one one ten to five and suddenly you're we're near enough to 
getting to half time now where uh, Will Tones left to ask serious questions themselves so here comes Peter's latest opportunity drills it in straight in straight through it's uh, 1-4 for Peter he's 3 point at freeze 1-1 one, one from play for him and the scoreboard it's out now 110 to 5 points and uh, a point lead with just 22 minutes on the clock playing against the strong breeze it looks like it may be a long day for Will Tones but Dean Devaney hoping to change that brings the ball into contact he's fouled while he has possession the foul there by Conor Grogan and it's going to be an opportunity for Keane O'Rourke to try and get the Wolf Tones uh, scoreboard ticking over again yeah interesting now that you know we talked about the inspiration side of Daryl Owen he's after been switched now to midfield uh, Darryl his brother his older brother has gone back on, on Peter Duggan so they're trying to get something going in, in the forward line by hopefully uh, utilising uh, Darryl's bit of inspiration and play so far Keen shot goes in. This one has drifted right, however. It's in. It's gone wide. Uh, opportunity that just goes a big and never really connected with a right. And uh, the saying is, when things are going wrong, it just keeps on going. Yeah, look, it's five in a row uh, that Tony Quinn have hit. They needed to stop the rot there with Tons, really. Um, and they haven't scored in the second quarter so far, which we're eight or nine minutes into at this stage. So... Oh, Peter Duggan, is, that's a brilliant piece of play. Yeah, grabbed it himself from the puck out, flicked it in over uh, Daryl Owen's head, drew the free as he was doing so. Uh, last possession, but Fergal O'Brien brings it back for the free in. But uh, it was all made and created, and we'll see now if it can be finished by Peter. Yeah, he brought his growth heart form to, to this thing. And, and and I think deep down, he's the captain this year. I think he need, he knew that he needs to, with Brian Taylor's absence, he's the one that's bringing that vast amount of experience to this. And I think he's shown that leadership um, and maturity um, that, that he's brought from, from his clear uh, exploits so far. And I think it, it, he should be able to put this over. That would make six in a row for Clooney Quinn. It has the distance. It has the accuracy. No doubt whatsoever about it. In it goes. It is over the bar. It's 111 to 5 now as we head towards uh, 24 and a half minutes on the clock. It's Connor Carrig once more. Ball in hand. He's looking for a bit of movement out in front of him. Instead, he's just going to come in straight down here on top of Lohan. As we said, moving up the field. Up goes the hand. He grabs it. He's on the move. Has an opportunity here. It's just going to drop short into the hands of Carl Hannon. Carl deals with it inside in the square. He looks for a bit of movement a few steps too many inside her but Virgil O'Brien is letting that one away so play goes on and Dean Devaney has to chase back goes in over his head but he does gather the ball first he's looking for somebody options here it looks like it's going to be Stephen Donlan who picks it up he's playing it into the corner Aaron Shannon had moved in hung high ball work to do for Aaron just to keep it in he's on the in line at the moment looking at John Keneally trying to take him on thought about the pass as far as Aaron Cunningham goes to ground Cunningham flicks it up into his hand takes his second touch works it now as far as uh, Gilfoyle John Gilfoyle with the shot but this one he goes in to Cahill Hannon and Cahill now has all the time in the world to pause look pick out a man that's exactly what he does Derek Hill into the paw and he was looking here for the run of Colin Hassett but it just goes over him and Sam Meany will come to try and pick it up back as far as Hayes Rory has it now on his own 21 crossfield ball looking for the movement out goes Gilfoyle gets his hand to it he's taking on Derek Hill he starts to get the shot here he is on his own 65 delivered it in front of Aaron Cunningham breaks off Aaron Aaron Shanahan was trying to get there but John Keneally was reading it all the way and he picks it up for Clooney Quinn working it out this time Derek Yo puts the hurley to it gets the control as far as Peter Duggan Peter looks for the movement just drops it down one handed flick as far as Kyo again delivering it oh, all the way as far as Jack O'Neill if he can score this that'll be some score but uh, in was Liam Murphy he got the block on it turns over that ball works it again and he's looking for movement movement is coming from Sean Costello Sean Costello now carrying the ball forward towards his own 45 they had the head up but he's been chased all the time <laughs> 3, the 4, 5 the fox is hunting him down <laughs> as uh, he got the ball out as far as Lohan Lohan takes his second touch taking on advantage being played there Dada Sullivan the judge to have been pulling him back Dahi's shot went in it went wide but we're going to come back for the free but uh, you must think about the intent there of the Clooney Quinn forwards as they were trying to get back there on Sean Collins and I think that's just a bit of the whole game there you know he could have easily let that go and there was other players but he met that sprint down in Fox and almost got the hook in as well and it's rare that you see a Fox hunting the, the prey um, but uh, on this occasion uh, he, he became the hunter and you know they are the small margin that we've seen so far and that is the difference it's 111 to 5 points you couldn't have seen that it was 3 points to 1 at Wolf Thorns at one stage I think they're going to have to make a couple of big decisions at half time uh, but I suppose we'll get to that uh, we'll wait for Keanu Rourke's free first 
and sits out with 27 minutes here on the clock. Keen O'Rourke just inside his own 45. He's 7 or 8 metres in off the sideline as his latest opportunity comes. In it goes. It's straight straight and true. A third pointed free for Keen O'Rourke. And uh, 111 to 6 now at the moment. But, uh, it's back underway. Cahill Hannon, he was looking. Aaron Shanahan just gets in to nip it out. Has an opportunity now. Could we get two in a row for Wolf Tones? We can. It was actually John Guilfoyle was the man that was coming over. The white helmet confused me for a moment. John got his hand to it. Took the shot. Two in a row, and that's now what Wolf Tones need for the next five minutes. Yeah, uh, without a score in 12 minutes, and suddenly they get two within the space of 30 seconds. And John Gilfoyle needed that. He had three shots in the post, didn't he score so far? So, that's been the, the vice captain as well. He needed to, to settle in there as well. So, that's a good score for him. And again, Wolf Tones just need to chip away here and get to half time and, uh, and regroup. Aaron Cunningham recycling the ball back as far as Keen O'Rourke manages to keep it in play, gets towards the 45, had the opportunity to take the strike, but in he went just took too much out of it it's going to be a free out uh, opportunity presented itself just slightly earlier than that one he decided to take it on that extra bit and Fergal O'Brien said it was that bit too much yeah and it would have been a vital score too uh, you know to get it back to six and suddenly you're only within two pucks of a ball uh, you're still at three you know and it's it's a big free for, for Clooney Quinn because they just, just leaked those couple of scores and just need to settle down again into the into their stride a bit but uh, what tones uh, putting Aaron Shannon now at the edge of the square I think that's much more familiar position for him uh, he looked a bit at sea maybe out of, uh, out of the 40 so uh, maybe that's going to be a tactic Colin Hassan with the catch there from the free from Derek Yo. in it goes and that's a great score he fist pumps as he goes in back in towards full forward it's the second of the afternoon for Colin but it just shows that no matter what way it's going in at the moment to that Clooney Quinn forward line they're winning it high and they're winning it low yeah if the fist pump isn't dead that's, that's the award they were taking from this yeah look a vital the score they've got they've got seven of the last eight points you know so that's a, it's huge for for uh, Clooney Queen as, as they're near enough to half time now bit of holding inside by Connor Grogan as Billy Connors was making his way out to try and attack that ball Fergal O'Brien spotted it and uh, it's going to be a free in here again Keane O'Rourke with his latest opportunity as we get the message up that there's going to be one minute of uh, injury time at the end of this so one minute of additional time as we have about 30 seconds left and we'll talk Owens hoping just to bring this back it'll be a seven point game if Keane can I suppose convert this hero yeah and look it, with all intents and purposes I think he's going to put this one over the bar seven points is is not a great position for Wolf Tones let's be honest but uh, considering what it could have been a couple of minutes ago I suppose it, at least now they've got three of the last four and they're starting to, to have a small bit of momentum uh, back so that's a, a start anyway so in it goes and over for Keane and uh, it's going to be Cahal Hannon just gone over the 30 minutes here now at the moment so we're into the last minute or so of the half as Cahal delivers that ball down on top of Peter Duggan Peter goes attacking it just falls out of the hand but it's going to break back as far as Dunna O'Sullivan Dunna dispossessed and it's going to be O'Rourke now on his way and he's heading towards the 21 he's got the green flag on the mind I think low he goes just probably from a small bit too far out going, but he could have carried it in a goal chance nonetheless he did get the power uh, really and hit it straight at, at Carl Hannon as well but you know the intent was good he just probably took the shot too early it was a small bit ambitious and in hindsight now you know it would have been great to take a point but you know the goal chance was on Liam Murphy breaks that ball down Rory Hayes is coming out with it but Colin Hassett seems to have picked up an injury there at the moment and uh by the looks of things with the way the players are gathering around unfortunately it looks like it could be a fairly serious injury over there uh, Owen so hopefully we're wrong but first reactions based on the way I suppose even the players around him are reacting are that um, unfortunately for Colm it may be the end of his day today yeah look at I- I think when the opposition players go in as well you know there is a genuine concern there about a player so I, I you know I, it looked to be a very very serious injury and um, you know that it's unfortunate for him because he was playing so well um, but hopefully hopefully it's just precautionary really but he's going to blow for half time anyway and, and make sure that Callum is treated uh, at the half time break but look uh, on the it's a, 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 a sober end I suppose to the, to the half but it's been a half that Kingley Quinn have really really impressed in seven points clear at half time with a strong breeze to come it's very very difficult to see how Wolf Tones come back from this but I think 
you know, uh, they need to probably switch out the likes of Rory Hayes, bring him out the field a little bit further. I think you take a gamble in the full forward line at this stage. Um, and I, I think the Tones have some hard decisions to make uh, in order to try and get uh, a bit more potency and a bit more uh, lethal up front. But so far, it's the Clooney Quinn show and they've been very, very impressive and balanced throughout. Yeah, and I suppose you just look at the spread of scorers even. Like, there are six starting forwards. Everyone bar Owen O'Brien has got on the yeah. score sheet. Um, we'll say Peter Robert obviously has contributed four frees but he's won one from play Jack O'Neill has two uh, Dannon has one from play Column has two from play and Shane another one so they, when you're looking I suppose the one thing is that that spread of scorers that they have it's it's just showing that look at if somebody gets shut down when we have three, four, five other lads who'll step up exactly and and you know and that is particularly impressive when, the, when you're missing the likes of, of Ryan Taylor who you know would probably knit the whole engine room together and is able to pick off loads of scores himself so uh, it looks like it's the end of Callum has to stay here but you know he's he's had a good half so far they have more options to come in off the bench uh, like some Mikey Curry and those can, can easily come in uh, and, and, and make an impression uh, but definitely Clooney Quinn aren't pinned down to what they used to be maybe there was a novel over-reliance in you know, previous uh, times for on Peter Duggan that's no longer the case as we're seeing the young guns have uh, matured they have stepped up to the mark so far and it's so far so good for Clooney Quinn and with that we'll take a slight break here in Cusick Park we'll let you enjoy the highlights there of that first half and you can return to us in in around 10 minutes time for throwing of the second half Off this one is on target another one for this Judy because that ball was there to, to be hit Daryl Owen cutting this one in. This one has the distance. You said that Duggan could do it. You never told us the Lohan could as well. Like it's going to be the Callahan or the Shane Harris and Shani on the way in. He's looking for the runner. The runner is Jack O'Neill. Jack has time to look. He makes no mistake from that angle. In it goes. Chase there by Max. And this one is overplayed. Callum Hassan's going to show for it. Callum ball in hand looking for the runners. Back it goes as far as O'Neill. Lohan comes in with the hope, but again, as far as Peter. Peter's on the way in towards the 13, trying to get the strike off. He does. For Peter Duggan. His first free of the afternoon here for Peter. In it goes. He's 1 1 on the board already. That one is in and through. It's, a, they say, his first pointed free. Back into the game, and no better than this man here who's having a, a superb start to the game anyway. Dottie Lohan. Third shot of the day for Dottie Lohan. It's two from three in terms of his action. Shane is the man who comes, shows, wins it, gets it as far as Column has it. Now Column gets his strike off. Slightly off balance, but that makes no difference to Colum as he puts it in over the bar. It's Jack O'Neill. He gets his hand to it. He's taking on uh, Stephen Donlan over on the far side. He's got inside him, heading towards the 21. Short grip of the stick. In it goes. It's over the bar. And uh, uh, Dottie Lohan ball breaks down and a missed time pass there by Hayes comes as far as uh, John Keneally John Keneally found himself inside his own 45 Rory you're going to test Billy Connors' metal to be able to find space against a player of that calibre and get a few scores which are vital for Wiftons Dan and Fox with the latest opportunity he gets his first today um, and they haven't scored in the second quarter so far which we're 8 or 9 minutes into at this stage so Oh, Peter Duggan, is, that's a brilliant piece of play. Yeah, he grabbed it himself. It's here on the clock. Keen O'Rourke just inside his own 45. He's seven or eight metres in off the sideline as his latest opportunity comes. In it goes. It's straight, straight in. It's back underway. Cahill Hannon, he was looking. Aaron Shanahan just gets in to nip it out. Has an opportunity now. Could we get two in a row for Wolf Tones? We can. It was actually John Guilfoy. To be at sea, maybe out of, uh, out of the 40. So uh, maybe that's going to be a tactic. Colin Hassan with the catch there from the free from Derek Yo. In it goes. And that's a great score. Was it at least now the got three of the last four and they're starting to, to have a small bit of momentum uh, back so that's a, a, a start anyway so in it goes now on his way and he's heading towards the 21 he's got the green flag on the mind I think low he goes just probably from a small bit too far out going, but he could have carried it in a goal chance can out from centre back over as far as Peter Peter has a stand and strike on his own 65 can out from centre back over as far as Peter Peter has a stand and strike on his own 65 and Peter does what we've seen him do so many times before control they come out with the ball but it's turned over again by Wolf Tones forward this time now is Dahi Lohan and Dahi gets the strike off this one is on target another one for this Judy because that ball was there to be, to be hit 
Daryl Owen cutting this one in. This one has the distance. You said that Duggan could do it. You never thought that the Owen could as well. Like it's going to be the Callahan or the Shane Harris and Shane on the way in. He's looking for the runner. The runner is Jack O'Neill. Jack has time to look. He makes no mistake from that angle. In it goes. Chased there by Max. This one is overplayed. Callum Hassan's going to show for it. Callum ball in hand looking for the runners. Back it goes as far as O'Neill. Lohan comes in with the hope and again as far as Peter. Peter's on the way in towards the 13. Trying to get the strike off. He does Goal for Peter Duggan. His first free of the afternoon here for Peter. In it goes. He's 1 1 on the board already. That one is in and through. It's, a, they say, his first pointed free. Back into the game, and no better than this man here who's having a, a superb start to the game anyway. Dottie Lohan. Third shot of the day for Dottie Lohan. It's two from three in terms of his action. Shane is the man who comes, shows, wins it, gets it as far as Column has it. Now Column gets his strike off. Slightly off balance, but that makes no difference to Column as he puts it in over the bar. It's Jack O'Neill. He gets his hand. To it. He's taking on uh, Stephen Donlan over on the far side. He's got inside him, heading towards the 21. Short grip of the stick. In it goes. It's over the bar. And uh, J- uh, Dahi Lohan ball breaks down. And uh, a missed time pass there by Hayes. Comes as far as uh, John Keneally. John Keneally found himself inside his own 45. Rory. You're going to test Billy Connors' metal to be able to find space against a player of that calibre and get a few scores, which are vital for with Dons. Dan and Fox with the latest opportunity. He gets his first today. Um, and they haven't scored in the second quarter so far which we're eight or nine minutes into at this stage so oh Peter Duggan is, that's a brilliant piece of play yeah he grabbed it himself it's here on the clock Keane O'Rourke just inside his own 45 he's seven or eight metres in off the sideline as his latest opportunity comes in it goes it's straight straight in it's back underway Cahill Hannon he's was looking Aaron Shanahan just gets in to nip it out has an opportunity now could we get two in a row for Wolf Tones we can it was actually John Guilfoy a bit at sea maybe out of, uh, out of the 40 so uh, maybe that's going to be a tactic Colin Hassan with the catch there from the free from Derek Yo. in it goes and that's a great score was it at least now the got three of the last four and they're starting to, to have a small bit of momentum uh, back so that's a, a, a start anyway so in it goes now on his way and he's heading towards the 21 he's got the green flag on the mind I think low he goes just probably from a small bit too far out going, but he could have carried it in a goal chance
Welcome back here to Cusey Park and I suppose the news from the half time break unfortunately Colm Hassett uh, has had to make his way off the field on a stretcher um, so on I suppose we just we wish him the best in terms of his recovery hopefully it's not as serious as maybe it looked on the way off but uh, definitely tough for him given the 30 minutes performance he'd already put in yeah, look, nobody wants to see a, a player run off at any stage injured, but it, particularly when it looks like a serious injury, uh, it looks like his ankle really. So, yeah, look, it's a, it's a, it's a blow for Clooney Quinn, but a particularly blow for Callum Hassan, who, as you said, he'd started well. He two points on the board, um, and Clooney Quinn are out now. It looks like uh, Killian Duggan is the man to replace him. So, plenty of experience there, both in the county and, and club experience, and he's going straight in at full forward. So, uh, he's expecting a good battle with uh, Rory Hayes. And a completely different challenge for Rory, I suppose. Uh, with Killian going in there now, you'll have to expect that if the ball is going in, it'll be going in high probably to him. Um, Wolf Tones are waiting for somebody to come out in the dressing room. So interesting to see that you know, in terms of physicality, they put Liam Murphy straight on him, and it's it's Rory Hayes that's gone over towards Dan and Fox. So that makes more sense from a, a Wolf Tones perspective. I think they were probably expecting it because Liam Murphy nearly ran out to, to Killian Duggan, and, and here's the, the last of the stragglers, Daryl Lohan before we all start off again yeah Dara going back he's going to take up his place at uh, centre back as Fergal O'Brien gets the ball into his hand throws it on and in we go John Guilfoyle straight away trying to get down over the ball back it comes as far as Dean Devaney Dean now looking ahead watching for movement delivers that ball in in front of Aaron Cunningham Aaron comes to attack it but it beats him Aaron Shanahar beaten to it by John Keneally and back the ball breaks once more it's going to be John Keneally ball in hand looking to clear it but Billy Connors just gets in and uh, Fergal O'Brien seems to think there was a pull of a jersey back there at some stage it's going to be a free out for Clooney Quinn and a, an opportunity for him to relieve their lines but I suppose no changes on the Wolf Tones team so really they're maybe giving them five or ten minutes just give us everything you can and after that it'll be about maybe who's behind them but they have regrouped and they've put a little di- different perspective on the, the positional changes because Daryl Owen who was who moved to midfield he's gone back on Jack O'Neill who had proved a real danger in that first half and uh, up front is Aaron Shanner who stayed in at the full forward line where he's much more familiar Denon is taking on three different players gets it as far as Killian Duggan Killian one handed in over the top gets the ball as far as Shane Harrison Shane Harrison gets the shot off the tightest of angles under extreme pressure but in it goes and Shane Harrison gets that scoreboard ticking over for Clooney straight away only one minute and ten seconds on the clock and the lead is out to one thirteen to 8 yeah normal service resumed that was a big point for Clooney Quinn to start off the half and Killian Duggan in the centre of that Dan and Fox as well so all players working hard so far but it's Wolf Tones that need the good start in the second half ball breaking down around the centre but it's Clooney Quinn once more this time through Jack O'Neill Jack back as far as Peter Peter on the turn he's going to lob it in to Killian Duggan up goes the five breaks it down in front it's there to be one it's still it's still in around that square it looks like it could have been was it Shane Harrison had the ball he went to ground he was looking for a push it's not coming since Fergal O'Brien and you'll expect it'll be a throw in here but uh, I suppose danger in there wants to put the ball in the top of Killian yeah there was um, a little bit scrappy I suppose but uh, the best of the ones could offer it they just need to get that ball to the ground and make sure it didn't, it didn't, nobody came up with it so and it's looks like Liam Murphy's able to win this one but it's still on the ground no Peter's down over it at the moment trying to roll lift it ball coming back out the side of the ruck but it's Clooney once more Killian Duggan back as far as Dan and Fox Dan and Fox now opening the play out to Owen O'Brien the only one of the six forwards had started that hadn't had his name on the score sheet yet he makes amends for that at the moment and uh, extends that lead out that little bit more 114 to 8 now it's again reflection of work rate teamwork ball to the man in the right position and an easy score for all and, and giving it off to the person in the best position to score that's the team ethic all the time it's Killian Duggan could have had a shot he get it off to Daniel Fox he could have had a shot but let it off to him um, and, and it was Owen O'Brien that finished it so it's, it's that selflessness that Clooney Quinn are, are promoting here and I, I think that's uh, that's the re- main reason that, along with the work rate that they're so far ahead Ball out now as far as Liam Murphy Liam carrying it in 45 under pressure breaks down then and Fox gets a little hurly toe as far as Peter Duggan Peter Duggan now 45 metres out straight in front of the goals and Peter gets his opening score in the second half and uh, worryingly now for Wolf Tones it's three points in a row when as he said then he really needed to start but the score over now is a 10 point of a gap Yeah the, the signs of the at this stage that Tony Quinn are going to push on uh, so it's up to Wolf Tones to, to alter that narrative because so far it's going according to the plan Clooney Quinn have a strong breeze they've started the best and it's up to the tones now to 
We really put this banner in that watch, which they haven't done so far. Connor Grogan is uh, was uh, coming out with the ball there. John Bugler here on the sideline deemed that he just carried the ball out over the sideline as he was trying to make his way out. It's going to be a line ball here, and it looks like coming all the way from the halfback position is going to be Daryl Owen. He cut one over. I suppose it was the highlight of the first half from Will Tone's point of view. He has another opportunity here, about 40 metres, maybe 35 metres out actually, from the Clooney Quinn goal to see if he can repeat it on. Yeah, well, he's certainly got the capability of it, and they need a score badly. In in front of Aaron Cunningham, but it goes beyond him. Taron Shannon are now with the ball in hand, but he's dispossessed. Billy Connors trying to get down over that breaking ball. Pulls on a straight across the square. Dean Devenny in a race. Jimmy Kai tried to get it. Jimmy picks up the ball. He's got three options outside him if he wants to use them. Peter Duggan being one of them. You talk about the work rate. There's your centre forward back getting the ball from your midfielder, and he delivers it long straight down. But Liam Murphy does very well to catch that ball. Gets it as far as Dahi Lohan. Out it goes now. It's John Gilfile over the shoulder in high in on top of uh, Aaron Aaron now gathers the ball on the swivel and turn he gets the strike off but this one is dying in the air will it have it just about has the range in it goes from Aaron Shanahar. it's his first of the day and uh, the scoreboard now 115-9 to nine off. yeah and a crucial score it just barely fell over the bar but it's just crucial for Wolf Tones to get some bit of a foothold in this game because uh, you know it had been slipping away from Clooney Quinn got the first three points of the half and they just need <laughs> To, to get a few scores obviously they'd prefer a couple of green flags at this stage but you need to start uh, you need to crawl before you can walk and um, Aaron Chandler is the man the main man inside there that's probably going to get a goal so they're going to have to get more, more supply into him John Keneally down it looks like cramp here now at the moment you saw Aaron Shanahar just come in to uh, stretch out that cramp of the calf but uh, I suppose from a Clooney Quinn point of view that uh, with only 35 minutes played they'll be hoping that uh, John is able to stretch this off and get back underway because there's 25 minutes of hurling still ahead and uh, the job he's doing here at the moment is uh, is a specialised road yeah I know absolutely and They've had enough, I suppose, disruptions in the build-up to this and even at half-time today. So they need everyone on the field, really. I know they've got a, a healthy enough lead, but Berlin is, uh, is a, again, the can turn on, a, on, a, on an instant, really. So uh, Clooney Quinn will want to keep their, keep their... And I think Cusick Park is suiting the kind of young team that they have, Clooney Quinn. And I think they'll, they'll, they'll be very grateful that the first game they've had is in, in Cusick Park because uh, they've certainly started with, a, with a, like a train. Peter Duggan puts up the hurley, breaks it down to himself, still trying to get it into his hand, but however, John Gilfile trying to win it off him, is still there on the ground, Arthur Rowe Lifton continues in the middle of it, but Jack O'Neill is going to come away with the ball, he's under pressure there from Dara Lohan, Dara wrapping the arms around Jack as he was trying to break free, it's going to be a free in for Clooney Quinn, an opportunity here for Peter Duggan to see if he can slot his first free of the second half, and just extend that lead out a little bit more, as we say, it stands at 115 to 9, here at the moment just over six and a half minutes played and Peter is in no hurry to put the ball down on but uh, straight in front of the goal 60 metres out you'd be expecting that this one will be splitting the, the black spot you would he's, uh, he's already got one one sixties name so um, he's on fine form today and that should be a pretty routine one for him and in it goes it is over the bar he just extends the lead out that little bit more and we're back underway to Sam Meany straight away Sam ball in hand looking for a movement tries to go over Peter's head not the right option on this occasion and Peter has the opportunity to plant the feet and from 60 odd metres out he just follows up his free with his third of the day says so two from or sorry third of the second half two from play one from freeze yeah it's bad enough when, when the opposition are passing to him when, when, when the tones are actually passing to him well then it's it's not good so uh, look we to need, to need to tidy up things here a little bit because uh, they're much better than this but they're, they're not showing anything at the moment and it's it's looking like a very inevitable the, the sting has gone out of this game and, and, and that's testament to Clooney Quinn and the kind of professional nature that they've done so far because um, it's it's almost game over and, and we're not even at the two thirds mark Evan O'Gorman collecting that ball puts it in in front of Aaron Shanahar gets the touch straight into his hand he's going to take on his man he's looking for space John Keneally spotted the danger straight away pulls him to ground it's going to be a free in for Aaron it's on the 21 metre line here at the moment and Fergal O'Brien is going in to have a little word there with John Keneally 
Keneally for uh, what would you say we, I suppose if you're the mentor of John Keneally you're saying that's one of the fouls that you don't mind giving away absolutely and take a yellow card all day for that one because what you don't want is Aaron Shannon running towards towards goals because he's a goal machine so they'll gladly take this one because Keane O'Rourke is standing over it uh, he's unlikely to go for a goal at this one it's a little bit early for that they need to just get as many points as they can on the board so that was a good free to give away but again just showed the danger of Aaron Shannon inside he's having a word now uh, with Evan O'Gorman to say get that ball into me uh, because I, I have the I have my man on a yellow and uh, hopefully I can do some damage so Keane O'Rourke uh, gets his first point of free in the second half 117 to 10 we're a 10 point game once more Puck out coming down on top of Jack O'Neill Jack is deemed to have been pulling the jersey there of Dahi Lohan as they were both attacking the ball it's going to be a free which Daryl Lohan is making his way over on his own 65 looks to be from the range that he's going to be hitting it from and uh, Kevin Corrie just showing him the exact spot just behind the 65 actually is where it'll come in the two irons are inside around the post at the moment there's a bit of movement out it comes Billy Con- Connors is the target. Billy gets his hand to the ball, into it, but he loses it. Three different Clooney players around him. Peter Duggan and Evan Max had been two of them. Evan carries it forward, gets it as far as John Cahill. John has the opportunity, and from distance, John is a. Uh straight in straight over the bar and he can make his way back to the half back line with his score registered for the day a brilliant score and it just that just shows the, the teamwork of Clooney Quinn there was three around Billy Connors as he got the ball they dispossessed him even Max went forward he locked it like John Cal didn't have to go for that ball there's plenty of forwards up there but he provided the overlap uh, put in the score he's a really really impressive player I really like John Cal he was a captain on the, the minors uh, last year and just a really really impressive player Peter Duggan gathers it on his own 65 here at the moment the distance is not a problem the accuracy however is just off on this occasion and it goes to the left hand side and wide back underway Connor Carey gets it out there straight away to Sean Costello he's been hounded by uh, Shane Harrison has to get rid of the ball and the only place he can get rid of it though was to Derek Hill. in it goes to Dunna Dunna Fox trying to get it out then and can't get the ball into his hand breaks though as far as Jack O'Neill Jack gets it into his hand takes on John Gilfile recycles it back over as far as Harrison he's making his way back up the field after chasing back turning over that ball Jimmy Curry now has it Jimmy has an opportunity of a strike it comes in this one is going left it's going wide and uh, again really you saw the intent there from Clooney Quinn with Shane Harrison starting on his own 21 and he followed all the way to the far 35 to turn that ball over yeah look and that's what you get you have a bit of pep in your step you're 11 points clear you know I mean it's, you really really have worked hard oh here's an opportunity for Wolf Dawn Evan O'Garman on his way in hitting the 21 at the moment here comes the strike from Evan it's low but it's off John Keneally advantage was being played at the same time so we're going to come back it's going to be a free in uh, opportunity again for Keane O'Rourke but uh, first opportunity really the Wolf Tones have had to run at the defence from deep uh, Rory Hayes started it off got the ball as far as Evan O'Gorman and uh, he'd only one thing on his mind on he had and he's a powerful player and again a good runner towards goal uh, a little unfortunate he came off John Keneally who was very hurt by that with such power in it that he's gone down but he's a free for Wolf Tones they're going to need every score they can get at this stage but uh, realistically as we just saw from that chance they need to get goals and probably fast really because time is inexorably running against them now You're, we're into closing towards the end of the third quarter so um, time is not on one's tone side and they're going to have to put some urgency uh, behind them but again you know we're not seeing enough from the likes of Aaron Shanahar or Billy Connors guys with big reputations here even Aaron uh, Shanahar is not getting the supply outside of that uh, point that he got and maybe the, the free that he just earned there a while ago so we have tones depend on those guys to get the scores and be the inspiration for them but we're not seeing it so far Oh, and John Kinney is still receiving attention I think looking down below a small bit of concern on the faces of the Clooney Quinn management so, um, when you're in the situation I suppose with 13 minutes gone you're 11 points up do you just make the call and say look at don't do any further damage or do you take the gamble and leave him there well I think the, the injury came as a result of a shot so I, I think it's probably more of a stinger than, a, than any kind of a serious injury so I think he can unless it's badly bruised now or a bit of a dead leg or something like that I think he can shake it off so um, substitute uh, Luke Harrison who's warming up has taken off the helmet again so it looks like the, uh, John Keneally is going to play on 
Yeah. Meanwhile, Stephen Donlan has come off the Wolf Tones team as Keen O'Rourke goes low. Hard bounces, but uh, Mike McNamara just in the right place. Gets his hurley toe. It breaks out as far as Donna O'Sullivan. And Donna gets the ball to his midfield partner, Jimmy Curry. High challenge there from Sean Costello. And uh, Fergal O'Brien will be going over to have a little, ch- a little chat there with Sean following that tackle. But uh, to be fair to Keen, I suppose, nothing ventured, nothing gained. He nearly had to go low with it anyway. Yeah, and Wolf Tones are starting to make the changes now. They realise that they're going to have to go for broke a little. Uh, so Shane Nell is after coming on for Stephen Donnett. And we're about to see the return of Kevin McCafferty as well. Uh, he was out with a, a broken bone on his foot, so he's back in action as well. So we're hoping to can be freshen up in the hope of maybe sparking some sort of a reply. But it seems unlikely that they're going to win the game at this stage because it's 21 points to 10. But the score difference could be important in this group so they're going to have to try and keep chipping away and keep the heads up because it would be easy to drop the heads at this stage but uh, they're not willing to do that and uh as you say, Kevin McCafferty has just gone in. It's going to be Sean Costello is the man that's making way on this occasion. He, uh, I suppose, got a speak into, in the first half. Got another one there from Fergal O'Brien from a Wolf Twans point of view. Um, the one thing you don't need is to start losing numbers. So probably a little bit of safety as well as trying to shake things up on. Yeah, and that's what the worrying thing, you know, for Tony Quinn is a bit of injury at the moment. And uh, you know, it looks like he's, he's back on his feet again. So... Well, uh, Jimmy Curry is okay, so we're back underway again, and it's uh, going to be Derek Hill that's going to take this free from almost his own 20 metre line. So, Dara now gets to go ahead from Fergal O'Brien to get us back underway. He's watching for a little bit of movement. Here comes the strike. He's going direct, straight down on top of the 21 inside. Peter Duggan is the hurley up. Breaks. Killian Duggan was trying to come off it, just couldn't get to it in time. And uh, Liam Murphy carrying the ball away, but under a little bit too much pressure, says Fergal O'Brien. It's going to be a free out here for Wolf Tones, and it's going to be Dara Lohan who gets us back underway, dropping it down on top of Aaron Cunningham, but it's going to break as far as Mike McNamara. Mike gets a flick to it as far as O'Neill has time on the 65 to deliver that ball straight here in front of Killian Duggan Killian now gets his hurley to it on the 21 takes his second touch needs the runners Peter presents himself over the shoulder from Peter this one is drifting but it's not going to drift enough for him and it stays out to the left hand side and wide yeah fourth wide for Clooney Quinn but they won't worry too much about it like they've had more accuracy than than the mishap so far and well, there is that intent Sam again Meany caught. Sam Meany caught by Dan and Fox under pressure and it's going to be Jimmy Curry who nips in he wins the ball hand passes it out in front ball breaking here but it's going to be picked up by Rory Hill plays in front of Evan O'Gorman Evan now looking for runners advantage being played to Evan here comes the delivery straight it goes in in front of Kevin first chance of the afternoon for Kevin to get that ball up into his hand he's looking for runners Keen O'Rourke ran off him but we're going to come back over as far as Evan O'Gorman Evan O'Gorman is on his Again, he has options inside. It's Dean Devaney. Dean Devaney shot goal. And I suppose when you're looking for a clink of light, you look at that. I suppose good workmanship, good teammate, kept the ball alive, moved it fast, and Dean Devaney made no mistake. Yeah, the first really kind of flowing move that Wolf Tones have had, and uh, you know probably from their lesser lights really. Kevin McCafferty just come on as a sub, didn't panic, could have gone for a shot himself. He decided to offload it to him, no garment. He himself didn't take on the shot, so Dean Devaney inside, and that is a much needed score. And here's Dean. Tones. Here's Dean again on the ball, looking ahead, delivers it in front of Shanahar. Shanahar is out in front of John Keneally. Does look to be struggling a little bit. That ball is still on the ground. Shanahar still has a pulled. Oh, what a save! Can he get it out? He can indeed. It was Carl Hannon there. Last ditch save. And uh, for all the control that Clooney have had, if that had gone in on, all of a sudden we were back to a five point game. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I'm just saying, like, Harlan is, you know, can turn on an instant, and that was a huge chance. Uh, it looked like John Keneally was in control of it, but Aaron Shannon didn't give up the ghost, got to pull away, and it was a powerful shot. Carl Hannon, just a reflex save, really. And that wasn't the most important thing. It was to get up again and get that fall away before the rebound was hit to the net. So, uh, a big moment in the game because that. Uh, uh, Games have turned on less. Uh, but still, Keen O'Rourke has an opportunity here to reduce it down to seven, uh, which is a, a much more brighter position than Wolf Tones would have had even just a couple of minutes ago. So Keen O'Rourke now standing with his 65 eyeing up his latest opportunity as he gets himself ready. Goes through his routine. Here comes the strike in. It goes distance and accuracy. 
are not matched this time as the ball just drifts out to the left hand side and goes wide and we see now down below as Luke Harrison is ready to come on and you'd expect maybe that uh, John Keneally he was down stretching those calves again that possibly they'll look at freshening things up back there with 12 to go but, uh, Luke Harrison definitely won't be marking out Shadow, that's for sure uh, but I'm sure they have plenty of others that can go back there and I mean Conor Grogan being the man to probably go back and, and shore up that defence but they were on the attack for Clooney Quinn they need to get back in the front foot Daniel Fox now recycling the ball back out as far as Shane Harrison Shane with the strike in it goes makes no mistake it's over the bar the second and the second half third all together for Shane and it just gets that scoreboard moving again 119 to 110 in their favour as that substitution is coming in and uh, Luke Harrison makes his way up onto the field and he is making his way back towards the full back line. John Keneally indeed is taking off the helmet. So uh, it'll see a shift there. Conor Grogan, the man who's going to go in a full back on Aaron Shanahan. Yeah, that was expected. Um, and here's Luke Harrison just moving out here up into the forward line. He's probably going to be at half forward. That's where he's most comfortable anyway. Aaron Cunningham carrying the ball forward a little chop against him uh, as he was trying to get away from Luke Harrison and it's going to be a free and an opportunity here for uh, Dara Lohan Dara down over that ball he's looking inside looking for it with the hurley up was Aaron Shanahan that's where he's going this one he'll do well to keep in and uh, Connor Grogan does his job he just nurses him inside just to make sure he can't get to the ball out over the inline it goes and wide and Kyle Hannon once more has an opportunity to get Clooney back underway from this latest puck out yeah I don't know if nursing is the right term for that one really he was he didn't look at any ball he was just intended to stop with Aaron Chen or whatever cost but look it worked it was effective uh, Connor would be slightly less physical than, than Aaron Chen so you'll do whatever you can to make sure that the ball doesn't end up in that net Pass over as far as Killian Duggan on his own 45, shortens the grip. Here goes the strike, it's in, it's over the bar. And uh, Killian really staking a claim here in the second half, Owen, to try and get himself onto that team sheet for the second round. Yeah, look, he, he could have taken the shot the first time, just suspected he might be hooked, so made sure to get the. Get a, take a little bit of an extra solo and, and put it over the bar. Very, very clever, and there's been a big impact in the second half. Uh, Aaron uh, Shanahan in possession, but it's turned over, picked up this time by John Cahill, works it out as far as uh, Jimmy Curry. Jimmy now has the ball, looks ahead on his own 45, delivers it along in front of Denon Fox. It's going to bounce just in front. Denon puts the hand to it. He has an opportunity, sees grass in front of him. He likes to go at it, but it, over across came uh, Liam Murphy, just got the hook on it at the right time, and he's back in action straight away. A quick puck out, back out as far as Liam. Now it's Denon chasing Liam as opposed to the other way around. Liam plays it out over Peter Duggan's head back into his hand but he needs a bit of support Duggan and Fox both there but he gets it back as far as Lohan Dara now delivering a crossfield ball over the head of Billy Connors in it goes Aaron Shanahan trying to get there Evan Maxted at the moment trying to keep him out keep goal side all the time back it comes as far as Billy Connors Billy now decides to take the strike on himself but that one is going to drift out left Keen O'Rourke is looking outside him he was free and uh, more or less telling him that ball should have come a little bit deeper yeah, we'll try to have to score everything that comes their way. Like that was a, another missed opportunity for them, and you know the, the minutes are ticking away now. And you know we talked about the Lauren Shanner chance going back to five. You know suddenly, you know with a with a few minutes later, and this the lead is back out to ten. So it just shows what Thorns have to take those opportunities and just haven't really. Sam Scanlon has made his introduction. Donna Sullivan is the man that makes way there. So Sam is going to get an opportunity in the next ten or so minutes to try and stake a claim for the the second round battle that will be coming up in two weeks time but from that puck out it's broke down off old tones hurley out it goes over and all of a sudden now that was a drop shot <laughs> uh, Kevin Curry spotted it straight away flag went up and uh, Fergal O'Brien now is going to make his way over and uh, he'll have to deal with this but definitely there was no resting of the ball when he struck that yeah no, absolutely and, and fair play I mean Kevin Curry has just come off coming from Clarecastle to wherever he refereed the, the Kilmaley St. Joseph Dura Barefield game so he's still alive and alert anyway and that's, that's the most important thing because you know the game is quite one-sided but uh, 
But the, the small instance like that. Oh, well, now it's a free out to Wolf Torrens. Free out, Rory Hayes, the man who won that free. And uh, Daryl Ohan tries to go as quick, but Fergal O'Brien says he needs to have a little word with Peter uh, <laughs> over his actions inside there. Peter picks up his yellow card, and uh, I suppose he won't be too worried about that with uh, the scoreboard the way it is here at the moment. Meanwhile, Daryl Ohan drives it down in front of Aaron Cunningham. Aaron can't get to it. Kevin McCafferty was coming. Aaron Shanahan instead nips in, gets that ball into his hand. He's runners off. It's Keen O'Rourke. Can he see him? Well, if he did, he never got the pass. But uh, there's a pull of a jersey there. It's going to be a free. Uh, it looks like, I think he was giving it out, but the Cloudy Inlet seemed to be giving out to him. So uh, we'll just have I to wait it, and see. I think it was just a, a tug of the jersey on Aaron Shannon as he was about to go in there. So a free in for Wolf Tones is probably out of the goal range. Um, and they brought on another substitute in the meanwhile. It's Colin Reardon has come on the field as well. And looks like that it's Billy Connors, Connors is the man that's off. making way. Yeah, it's a disappointing afternoon for Billy Connors because um, he really lit up the championship last year, but didn't really happen for him today. A strike goes in from Keane O'Rourke and uh, it's back to a nine-point game. We're 120 to 111 here now at the moment. We still have six and a half minutes or so, plus whatever is going to be added on afterwards. As uh, we look and see more substitutions coming, it's going to be Mikey Curry this time who's making his way in towards the full forward line for Clooney Quinn and uh, Owen O'Brien Owen O'Brien is the man that's going to make way yeah just freshen up again and I think that competition for place is obviously very high in, in, uh, in Clooney Quinn at the moment you know they have great substitutes that they've brought on so far like Sam Scanlon who was a, a minor last year Mikey Curry was a very lethal forward as well so uh, they have a lot of potential and the, and the, the squad depth is quite high so, latest puck out from Cahill Hennan uh, he's coming right down here on top of Jack O'Neill Jack trying to position himself but it's going to break everybody and out it comes first touch there for Curry after his introduction he's taken on Rory Hayes still has possession he's also going to get the strike off it's gone in and if there's a way to make your introduction <laughs> on that just about sums it up one touch one score that's all you can ask for uh, any forward and uh, yeah look a great introduction but it just shows that there is a buzz obviously in Clinton Quinn at the moment the competition replaced it so high so when you do get that opportunity even though it might be only five minutes you got to take it it's Shane Nehill at the moment trying to get that ball forward towards Dara Lowe and Dara has it now on the 65 takes the strike he's dropping it in on top of Cunningham the two Irons Aaron Cunningham and Aaron Shannon but it's broken inside Evan Mexton tries to roll lift it the ball breaks as far as Cunningham in he goes first opportunity to run back goes to the ground looks for the penalty he doesn't get it and now he's blown for off and carrying on yeah I mean he might have got it only for he was so theatrical about I think he was just a little bit too theatrical with the with the way he went down. Um, I think he realised that he wasn't going to get to be able to get a shot away, and I think yeah. you know probably overplayed it a slight bit. So that's frustrating from Will Tone's perspective, but I think probably the right decision. Ball out now as far as Luke Harrison. Luke has time to steady himself on his own 45 and drive that ball. Down they go into their latest attacker, Tony Quinn. Jack O'Neill just goes to ground, but it breaks behind for Shane Harrison. Shane gets beyond uh, Rory Hayes. Fouled as he was getting beyond them. It's going to be a free in, an opportunity. But uh, again, another injury picked up just down below us. So we might have a slight delay here on before the, the next free. Yeah, the way he landed, he went up with Jack O'Neill for that ball, landed down and kind of buckled his ankle. So we've had an, awkward, had an ankle injury to Callum Hassett, but Dahi Lohan now would be a big blow for Wolf Tones. They're already uh, destined probably to lose this game, but to lose Dahi Lohan uh, for a little bit longer would be, would be really, really worrying. So uh, these are trouble times I suppose for Wolf Tones because they need him to be getting back on his feet just just went over that ankle so uh, hopefully it's just uh, needs a few minutes rest yeah and uh, I suppose when we look at the clock at the moment we're talking there's three and a half minutes or so plus whatever to be added and from Wolf Tones point of view uh, disappointing performance uh, to be ten points down here at the moment but there are small chinks of light but at the same time having seen the other games this weekend there's going to have to be a big change in standard in two weeks' time if they're going to keep their championship alive. Yeah, this performance won't get out. Like we just talked about the group yeah. of derbies and how cutthroat it's going to be, so this performance won't do. And they know that. Uh, you know, they've played better uh, along the way and, you know, they've played better in championship. And with the players that they have, you look at the calibre inter-county players right to their spine, uh, they are better than this. And look, it's going to be winners against winners, it looks like, and losers against losers. So, we'll Tones will be facing Cracklow, who are equally have a point to prove. And that will be uh, a four-point 
pointer because probably the loser's in relegation trouble. Colin Reardon is uh, robbed of possession there. In we come and through, but it's just I was about to say that uh, Jimmy Curry was about to equal Mikey's score, but unfortunately that one goes off to the right hand side. Uh, and I suppose when we talk about efficiency, we were in Shannon today, uh, we saw. I suppose Heineken Lamona losing out to Bellier but they had 14 wides and you look here Clooney Quinn by my record at the moment it's only about 5 wides and they've won 22 on the board <laughs> yeah yeah I think it's 7 overall I think for Clooney Quinn but you know a fantastic uh, you know efficiency from them and you know considering the amount of players that are either in their first year and the first start at senior level or maybe only in their second year at senior level it's, it's mightily impressive uh, uh, efficiency so far I mean, Kilmele had 11 first half wides alone today so there's been a dangerous breeze there and a swirling breeze but uh, it hasn't affected Clooney Quinn that's one thing for sure Kevin McCafferty trying to nip inside he gets it off gets the strike it bounces and in it goes it is a goal uh, a goal for Wolves Tones Kevin McCafferty just made enough room for himself to get the strike off finished it to the back of the net and uh, 2-11 now to 122 probably too late to bring him back into the match but still the fact that they're still playing still fighting and every score as we said here uh, I suppose before the match ever started with that nine points to the market one like scoring difference can be huge yet in this group yeah look at it. they were double figures down so any any bit of a, a solace at this stage just to get them back on that's a wide there from Jack O'Neill so yeah look who tones it if them down to score difference they gotta keep chipping away here they gotta keep plugging because uh, this is gonna be this group is gonna go right down to the wire Daryl Lohan delivering another high one in on top of Aaron Cunningham him, bounces off Aaron McCafferty's going on the run again but it's going to be into the hands of Cahill Hannon he just gets off the goal line nips at that ball cleans it up drops it down on top of Peter Duggan it breaks behind everybody Rory Hayes trying to get it up into his hands Rory's kind of charged forward himself he looks for Evan Evan O'Gorman but it goes beyond Evan and it's turned over back into the hands of Clooney Quinn forward again let's come through Jack Cahill, John Cahill John now pull back as he was going decided to take on the strike himself if it goes over the bar great if it doesn't we're back for a free for Peter. Yeah, John Cahill has, uh, you know, had an uh, unbelievable debut today. So that's that's a great boost. He's already got a point. He'd no harm in doing that one. That just came off close to the crossbar. Wins the free anyway, and I think it kind of takes the sting out of Fulton's is a uh, bit of a comeback there when, when Kevin McCafferty got the goal and Peter Duggan. You would think halfway, just straight in front of the post, uh, should be able to slot this over and make sure that they've got a, a, a size of a lead back again because. Um, the minutes are ticking away now. We're just ending into injury time. We have no indication of uh, five minutes of injury time. So um, a few minutes to go yet, but the, the, the result seems inevitable. So Peter now just inside the halfway line here at the moment, getting a bit of encouragement from the young Wolf Tones fans behind the goals as he drives this one in. But this one has gone to the right. It's gone wide. And uh, Peter not happy. He's argu- arguing with Fergal O'Brien that that one was inside the post. So even when you're at eight points clear, every little thing counts. <laughs> well, that's, that's why he's uh, where he is, I suppose, when he's, he cares about it that much, even at this stage. But Jimmy Curry can maybe put that right. No, no, it's going to be short this time. In it goes. It's blocked on the goal line by Conor Curry. He needs to get down over that ball. Here's the calls in front of him. Has options. Gets it out now as far as Sam Meany. Sam brings that ball up towards the 45. Plays it out right there in front of Colin Reardon. Colin delivering it in there. But it's been read by John Cahill. I thought he was going to get the hurley to it. But Evan Maxted says there's no problem. I'll mop it up. Gets it as far as Mike McNamara. Back in now. And as far as, uh, as Mike Beck. And he's off they go long delivering that ball John Gilfile trying to nip in for Will Tones turns it over there uh, Liam Murphy Liam Murphy down now in front of Evan O'Gorman but Evan isn't going to run the race it's going to be Derek Yo that gets there goes to Brown there's a battle for possession but once more it's a three on one three different uh, Clooney player one Will Tones player but Evan O'Gorman does enough to draw the free and uh, it's going to be an opportunity to drop that ball in again you'd expect but just shows again Clooney Quinn hunting in packs even hungry, you know, you, you think when you're this far ahead at this late stage of the game that you'd maybe ease up a little bit on the work rate, but they're just ravenous all afternoon. I think that's the reason that they're going to get off to this winning start and, you know, justified in terms of the result. Um, maybe the, the scoreline doesn't do Wolf Tones that uh, much justice, really, because uh, they... You know, for all the endeavour that, that Kenny Quinn have had, Wolf Tones have been able, the, the goals have brought them back in to a slight extent. Uh, a little bit worrying here, but it looks like just, just a bit of cramp here at the back for 
Um, is it, is it Mikey Curry or no? No, not. Daniel Fox is Daniel the man that's down there at the moment. He's just getting the stress of so Fergal Ryan is going to come back as far as him. And uh, John Bunger says, no, we're OK, we'll keep on going. So uh, John says he talked to him. You need to get a substitute on, says John. And uh, so Tommy Corbett and his management team will have to prepare that as the free drops in. It's going to drop just under the post. <laughs> it's the man that's in there. Peter, where we're used to see them putting a the hand up on one side of the square. But uh, a hand up oh. on the other side is time to hold on. Rakes behind. It's a race for position. But it's not how it has it. He does so. Works it. And off we come again. It's going to be Sam Meaney tries to recycle him over as far as Colin Reardon. Colin Reardon now dropping it on the 21. Even McCafferty was coming for it. Keane O'Rourke tries to win it, but it's going to break and it's going to break inside there for Killian Duggan. And Killian working it out there as far as Jimmy Corry, Jimmy down the field. And it's going to be over the head there from Dan and Fox. And he's, he's making his way off the field here at the moment. So Liam Murphy is going to run all the way back and he's going to win it across the field back to his own goalie, Conor Perry. Connor now low pass out in front and the ball got all the way up as far as Colin Reardon Colin Reardon on his 65 has options Daryl Owen was looking for it but Colin decides he's going to go to John Gilfoyle pressure cut it on again Shane Hennon the man who got the hurley in it breaks behind we're going to have a run for possession here at the moment and it's going to be won there by Sam Scanlon and Sam right there in front of Jack O'Neill Jack gets there he gets first there and he Murray Hills puts in the challenge it's only Quinn it was a push goes out the referee for Glo O'Brien says we play on and the ball goes back as far as Derek Hill. Dara now has time to walk the ball here as far as Sam again he's trying to steady himself he's going to come across fields they weren't really expecting the pass so Mikey Harry has a bit of work to do he's going to get there he does get there gets inside John Gilfoyle John gets the hurry to it just breaks it down at the right time again Mikey goes forward but it's going to break from Tones and Dean Devaney now on his own 65 carries it to the opposition 65 looks ahead delivers it in on top of Aaron Cunningham Aaron isn't going to be able to get to that one and Evan Max said just make sure that he doesn't get to that one how it goes and it goes wide yeah okay. disappointing from a Wolf Tones perspective but it kind of sums up their day kind of frustrating afternoon for Wolf Tones who you know would have promised so much of the start and been very very enthusiastic about their chances in this game but unfortunately he hasn't gone to plan Dennis Fox after limping off with another worry and sign for Clooney Quinn another seems to be an ankle problem but um, he's replaced on the team by Dylan Cunningham who has a little bit of championship experience already so they've used all their five substitutes and uh, had the the full pack use of time is really up now time ticking away about 10 seconds left on the clock as we look at it here with Peter Duggan with his opportunity he just plays it in over the head there's going to be a race for position that position is won by Dylan Cunningham Dylan looking to try and emulate uh, what Mikey had done Mikey Curry in earlier just first touch of the ball and put it over with this one so he's that little bit short it's going to be Liam Murphy chased by Cunningham all the way he's carrying that ball tries to get as far as Evan O'Gorman Evan now looking ahead here goes the delivery dropping now about 30 yards out there's going to be a battle for possession in here breaks down but it's going to be Mike McNamara who gets down over it hand passes it back Jimmy Curry makes himself available wins the ball on his own 13 he's looking ahead now he's going to clear his lines long ball down the top of Killian Dunn Killian puts up the hand but he's going to break as far as Colin Reardon Colin looking across field trying to get it over as far as Daryl Owen no it's Liam Murphy actually in the position Liam looking ahead dropping it in here we go Daryl Owen is at this side of the field up he goes but it breaks and it only breaks as far as Mike Black and with that Fergal O'Brien says our day is done here in Cusick Park 1.22 for Sony Quinn 2.11 for Wolf Tones and uh, I suppose for Tommy Corbett and his management team satisfactory days work 1.22 on the board and really the game was over from a long way out it was. Uh, there was a sense of inevitability from a long way out. Uh, well, Tones kind of made it interesting to a slight extent with the, with those goals in the second half. But look, they were never in danger of letting that lead slip. And just a really, really impressive collective performance, you'd say, from, from Clooney Quinn. You know, there was questions asked about how many young players can you put in into this side. Uh, with the loss of Ryan Taylor as well, there was a little bit of maybe concern and that uh, other players wouldn't be able to step up and I think they answered a lot of questions today they've got off to a winning start that's all you can ask they had an impressive start to the championship last year um, in that they, they topped the group um, so they've after replicating that in form so far this year a really really impressive scoring display 122 is a good a good scoreline to put in on the Wolf Thomas perspective a lot of uh, head scratching a bit of introspection is going to be needed over the next fortnight before they get the chance to play crack club so it's going to be winners against winners 
winners too many quid in your market just to see who really is the farm team in this group and then uh, kind of a last chance saloon between Wolf Tones and Cracklaw to see who can really step up to the market ahead of that final round to try and put their, their stake in for a quarterfinal place yeah and I suppose from Clooney Quinn's point of view like they have won they've won comfortably but they've done so without Shane Mech who's I suppose their go-to man in the full back line and also without Ryan who has been whole uh from midfield really was the man who made him, made him tick a lot yeah and, and to lose Callum Hassett and look it, to be honest we hope it's not too bad but it looks like it's going to be a, a fairly long ish term medium to long term injury as well so the way they're able to rise above all those things the, the reintroduction of Silent or Shane McNamara will be a big boost to their to their back line particularly when you saw the likes of John Keneally going off injured as well so there have been a few injuries to, to really tend to maybe over the coming weeks because Dan and Fox we saw went off injured there as well but uh, you, you get over injuries when you win a game a lot easier and, and they become a little bit less it's, it's, you can see the, the back slapping has gone on here it's a very very uh, good performance and a good day for Clooney Quinn um, but uh, not a good day at the office for Wolf Thomas and uh, with that we'll take our leave from Cusick Park it's finished on a scoreline of Clooney Quinn 122 Wolf Tones 211 thank you for your, for your enjoyment hopefully here this afternoon uh, there's a game still going on for anyone that has the weekend pass and that's down in Six Mile Bridge Broughford taking on Clare Castle it starts at 7 o'clock so that should be just about getting ready to head into the, the second half from everybody else thanks for your attention over the weekend and we look forward to joining us again throughout the championship of 2023